should have been recording. Work on different things. I, uh, had this laying around. Figure. Work on it. Try to make some bigger knife blades out of stuff. Man, this kind of flint smells good when you're grinding it. Probably gonna take the tip off because there's a lot of crud right in here. And uh, super huge blades. Not too useful, in my opinion. Yeah, there are some cracks and damage in there, too. I'm starting to lose light here. There we go. There's the crack. All right. big flake off right there. Get rid of some of the crack. Hmm. Looks like I have a heavier copper billet. There's a bigger one. Kind of got to speed up a little bit because I am losing light. Get rid of some of this mass. Hmm, I like this stuff. some weird planes flying over. What the heck, man? Thinking about where I want to go to record more of the adventure style videos. Kind of looking for input. Some people said, uh, Virginia. A lot of people say in Texas, but what from what I hear in Texas, it's uh, hard to get access to land. 
to look. Um, I know a guy down there that, uh, will allow me on his land, but that's an insanely long drive. I'm trying to thin this out as best as I can here. The shoulder is still not so great, but I'm just happy that I'm able to still do this stuff. Whew. I've been wondering if you guys uh, like my standalone napping vids like this or if you would rather me put them into the adventure videos like as I'm finding the stuff I like the idea of that uh, but the problem I have with that is uh, bringing a tarp around everywhere with me when I'm looking See, I'm trying to get through this stuff. It's giving me a hard time. Um, I had some questions about am I able to find stuff in creeks that uh, I can make long knives out of like this, like what I'm doing here. And the answer to that is yes, I have found really, really good flint in creeks. But it's not as often as I would like really depends on the location. It's starting to get dark dark here. Switch back to the smaller one. I always uh, am afraid to hit hard in the middle. So I decided to that time. Got a large mass off there. This is coming out pretty nice.
There's a video that uh, Billy Berger did of um, finding some coastal plains chert. He was finding big blocks of it. And uh, every so often, I will find gigantic bricks or just like total boulders of flint, like huge boulders, like in my other videos. And uh, a lot of times they just look like normal rocks. And it's not something that I would think to crack open. But then I do, and I wind up getting rewarded for looking. Um, let's say this a little thinner here. Getting there. I'm trying to make the style of knife that I sell to uh, deer hunters. And I'm having a little bit of issue thinning this tip here. Let's see, this spot needs to be thinned right there, but it's going to give me a problem. So I'm going to try hitting hard, and hopefully I don't lose the whole tip. coming out pretty good the spot here causing a problem uh, came in at an angle and kind of got it fanned out nice probably gonna finish this up with indirect Thin out the blade section a little more. All right. Yeah, I'll finish that up with indirect. See some problem area. <laughs> See if I could get rid of that junk in here. All right, it's probably getting a little too dark to say now, but I am going to finish that up with indirect and then put it on a handle. Um, let me know if you guys do like this style of video, or if you would rather me, like I said, insert it into the adventure videos. Um, the, the problem I have with the adventure videos is, um, I keep wanting to 
kind of cut it up and speed it up, speed up the napping process. And then I get a lot more questions of how do you do this? How do you do that? Um, and when I do it this way, you could just kind of see what I'm doing. So, all right, I'll end it here because it's uh, getting dark, getting dark quick. Have a good one. See you guys.